welcome welcome thank you so much for subscribing to this youtube channel thank you well, you're welcome again okay so um today we'll be talking about um there's this video that was done by prophet akin bulube ayodeji okay so this prophet who was talking about what god showed him about the plans of the full and need to overthrow Lagos and kill Chinumbo. So let's quickly dive into the news. Okay, so this so called prophet, he did a live video and his face was shown in it. Let me call the name again Prophet Akin Bulube Ayodeji. Okay, so I'll quickly summarize the dream he said he had and then I'll interpret it. So in the dream, he said, that everybody was you know going in one direction they were crossing to one direction and some people were left behind in one place and then those people that were crossing got to a place and they were rejoicing and then those people that did not follow them although they were following them before but they stopped and went back those people that went back did not have the chance to come back and follow them so they remain in suffering Okay, so that's, I just paraphrased the dream. So when this prophet woke up, he asked God, what is the meaning of this dream? Why did he show me this dream? According to the prophet. And God said, according to him, that the Yorubas will cross over and have their own independent nation. But there are some people who will be so comfortable in Nigeria. That is for those people that are since saying they want one Nigeria. Those people will still be in Nigeria and they will have to endure this whole thing. And when the Yorubas have left, those people will not be able to join them again. And if they don't join them now that everybody is going, then when they've left, when that, that has when the Yorubas have left, they won't be able to join them. So that was the interpretation of the dream. God said that some people said that they are comfortable in the suffering and slavery in this nigeria they don't want freedom even if you call on them they would not listen to you they will always remain where they are hmm. so the prophet is praying that we will all be removed from this slavery from this captivity from this wala, from this show that we are in now, from this killings, from this bad governance, from this poverty, we would all be removed. In Jesus' name, amen to that. Amen, amen. Okay, let's move on. So he, he said, God is thanking all those who have been standing at the forefront fighting for the Yoruba nation. Yes, we all know those people that have been standing, those medias, you know, that have been speaking up not scared of the persecution i was speaking up for the Yoruba nation people personalities all those Yoruba people that have been speaking up for example sunday go chief sunday go thank you so much he's thanking god is thanking them and everybody's thanking them for their support thus far you know it's not easy with all the persecution going on it's not easy but you know they have been strong those people are called the lions of the Yoruba nation they have been strong they have, they have struck to their guns and saying no we are not going back so these people, the prophet is thanking them, saying thank, thank you and well done, that God will continue to strengthen them, that this, the fight and everything will not be in vain, that even at the end, we will all enjoy together, we will all cross over and enjoy an independent and free nation in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. He said, we all come out rejoicing at the end of everything. Amen. So he said another part. That was another dream that he said he had. He said, Lagos was divided into two. Hmm. The people went to the Yoruba nation and some people were just left behind. Lagos was divided into two. And he said, when it was divided into two, everywhere became so, everywhere was turned upside down there was chaos everybody was shouting and then tinumbu was killed mm. this was the part i really calmed down to listen to 
said Tinimbo was killed. I know surprisingly, people will be like, yes, he's killed, thank God, he's killed, thank God, thank God, yes, yes, he's killed. But surprisingly, this is what this man is saying. He said we should pray for Tinimbo. Mm. This should not shock us. Even me, I was shocked when I heard it. But I have to calm down and listen more. Why did he say we should pray for Tinimbo? Okay, let's move forward. He said they killed Tinimbo. But God told him that he still loves Tinimbo. Hmm. You know, God loves God loves sinners, but he hates sins. This man is saying, this prophet is saying, God loves Tinimbo. He said the urban nation should pray for Tinimbo. That you know that the old man is is nothing to write home about. And that is what everybody will say. Tinimbo is nothing to write home about. But we should pray for him because he is a Yoruba. Mm. We should pray for him because he's Yoruba. So when they, when they executed Tinumbo in the dream, Lagos was turned upside down and there was chaos. God should give Tinumbo wisdom. That is our prayer. We should pray to God that God should give him wisdom and that he should understand our stand in this matter and that he should gather the Yorubas together. Hmm. So this is what is telling the Yorubas. Let us stand up and pray for Tinumbu. And let us pray for those those are leaders, those Yoruba leaders. Now they know that they are just they don't want to just join us together with the Yoruba nation, that they are doing their own. Some people are scared of coming out. Some people are just they just are just greedy. Examples to remember. Say we should pray for them. We should pray for them. We should pray for them. So okay, so the question is now is how can we overcome this dream? That it was chaos in Lagos. Most of us live in Lagos. Most of us live in Lagos. Just imagine there's chaos in Lagos. You can't go to work. You can't earn anything. You can't earn money. How how would this feel? Yes, yeah, so that that's the question now to um, the prophet. So he gave an answer. He said, This is the time for us to stand and pray to God. Now we shouldn't wait for that time of conflict of war to come. This is the time. Because said when the full armies will come and divide Lagos into two, we would all be scared and hide and, and cower and stay inside our house. We will not be able to come out. Now is the time to pray. So that kind of time will not come to pass. God says answer prayers according to the prophet. He said God says answer Me and I also believe God answers prayers. So if we can all stand up and pray as one. One thing he also mentioned is, this is not the time for us to have different factions of Yoruba. This one is following this one. This one, we should all come together and pray as one. Yes, we should all come together and pray as one. Let's not hate one another. Because of the hatred in Nigeria, this is why it's causing killings. Fulani killing the Yorubas. He was hating the, the Yorubas. No, we should all come together in unity, in love. We should love one another. We should stand for ourselves. Because a house divided against itself can never stand. So, this is time for us to come together. This is not time for us to blame one another for anything. Yes, yeah, some people voted for Brian. No, no, no. This is time for us to come together in one, in, a co- in one accord, in unity. Yoruba Nation, this is not the time for us to cast blames on people. This is the time for us to become unified together as one. Because when we pray to God as one, he's going to answer. He said, the man also said, the prophet also said, Yoruba should begin to celebrate. Because the man, the prophet said, sorry, the prophet said, when they all crushed, when the Yorubas all crushed to the other side, they began to sing songs of thanks to God. That means they've won their victory. God has given them victory. They've won the battle. That's what they were singing. So we should begin to celebrate because God has answered our prayers. That means it will still be time. It's no, it will no longer take time again. The Yoruba nation being independent from Nigeria, the, number, the Yoruba nation being separated from Nigeria won't take long again. This is the right time. This is the time. It won't take long. He said, please don't get tired. 
this is the prophet encouraging the Yoruba nation. Don't get tired for those who have been talking, for those who have been, you know, enduring persecutions, for those who have been standing up for the Yoruba nation. So, Chief Sunday Boho, thank you so much. Thank you so much. The Yoruba nation really own lots to you. He says you continue. Don't be afraid. Don't don't give up now. Don't be tired because the breakthrough is coming soon. Don't give up so soon. Continue striving. Continue fighting. Continue talking. And God will give us victory at the end. Amen. So please just comment on this. Let's comment on what this prophet is saying. This God has sent him to speak over the urban nation. And we are saying amen to everything he has said. Every good prophecy he has said. Amen to it. For those bad prophecies that Lagos will be divided, we will pray together and they will not come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for listening. Please don't forget to like this video channel. And for those who have not commented, please also, let's talk about this more. Let's vibe together. Don't forget to also subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on the red button. Thank you so much. One Yoruba Nation. God bless.